We created this video to describe our mobile developer bootcamp. Did you know that mobile devices now utilize a larger portion of the total internet than desktops? There are almost twice as many mobile devices as there are people on this planet. The mobile developer bootcamp teaches students how to develop applications that run on mobile devices for this rapidly growing sector. The main program on a computer that manages all of the other programs is called the operating system, or OS for short. The two most used OS's for mobile devices are iOS by Apple and Android by Google. iOS runs on Apple phones and devices, while Android runs on Google mobile devices. The applications that run on mobile devices are, are created using specific programming languages. The two most used languages for creating mobile apps are Swift, used for iOS development, and Java, used for Android development. Objective-C is another language used for iOS development as well, and has some similarities to Swift. By learning all three of these languages, you will be trained in developing native applications. Native refers to writing code specifically for a particular type of OS, using a language built to work with that OS. For example, native iOS development would be writing an iOS app in Swift or Objective-C. This is as opposed to writing an app using a programming language not designed to work with the final OS you intend to run your app on, in which case you'd have to run all your code through a sort of a translation for it to run right. So again, on this bootcamp, you will learn native app development for the two OS's used on over 98% of mobile devices. This is pronounced Xamarin. Xamarin is software from Microsoft that is used for cross-platform development. Cross-platform refers to writing apps once in a way that allows them to run on multiple operating systems. Using Xamarin, you can write an app using the popular programming language c -sharp. Xamarin will then translate your c -sharp code so that it will run on both iOS and Android devices. Xamarin is a great tool that gets better and better with each new version. You will receive an introduction to c -sharp and learn to use Xamarin on this bootcamp. Before you learn how to create mobile apps, you must first know how to write code. This includes learning to create websites. Considering that most mobile apps are able to connect to the internet, knowing how to use the languages that make up the World Wide Web, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, is required for mobile app developers. If we threw you right into mobile development, without first giving you a foundation in computers, technology, computer programming, website development, and databases, you'd most likely be lost. Plus, you wouldn't have the necessary associated skills to be a well-rounded mobile app developer. Therefore, you won't actually start learning mobile development until the eighth course on your bootcamp. On the Mobile Developer Bootcamp, you will learn other programming languages in addition to Swift, Objective-C, and Android. The bootcamp is composed of over 10 courses that cover computer science basics, programming fundamentals, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL, version control, Visual Studio, Agile and Scrum, and more. Now, I know I just said some words that most people won't understand. To put it simply, these are the names of various computer languages and technologies that are very useful for software developers to have in their toolkit. The courses on the Mobile Developer Bootcamp include Computer Basics course, Overview of Software Development course, Version Control course, HTML and CSS course, JavaScript course, Database and SQL course, Visual Studio course, Java and Android Developer course, iOS Developer course, Project Management course, Live Project focused on mobile development, Job Placement course. And so the product of the Mobile Developer Bootcamp is not only a junior level developer able to perform the basic duties required of their position, it's one who is able to stay abreast of changes in technology and further educate themselves as needed. This is a thorough bootcamp, and by the end of it, you will have a well-rounded skill set. On it, you will cover around 700 study hours worth of content and tasks. It can take between four and eight months to complete, depending on your study schedule. If you study 40 hours each week, you can complete it in around 18 weeks. Students who put in even more hours can expect to finish even faster, one of the many benefits of a self-paced program. If you purchase access for a specific amount of weeks but don't finish in that time, you can purchase an extension. As a graduate of the Mobile Developer Bootcamp, you will be trained in the front end, the part of a website or program the user sees and interacts with, and back end, which refers to the database and portions the user doesn't see, development. You will also be a full stack, junior level developer. Full stack refers to the ability to work on every element of the software development process, including creating the software itself, developing the front end user interface, linking it to a database, and more. At the end of this program, you will be able to create web applications and desktop applications. Even though a lot of data is included in this bootcamp, 
It would be impossible to describe everything regarding each language and to cover all there is to these subjects in a boot camp. For example, you could study everything there is to know about the Swift programming language, and when you were done, you'd have to start over because it would have changed in significant ways. The point is, we cover the basics of each language and subject, enough to where you can perform the most routine tasks and to the point where you'll be able to pick up any additional needed skills on your own. Yes, the purpose of this bootcamp is to provide you with enough skills, but even more important than that, we want you to be able to learn and solve problems on your own. After all, we won't be there with you at your job. As I covered earlier, Java is the programming language used to develop Android apps, but it can also be used to develop strong and complex computer programs. In fact, it was used to create the Java OS. While this operating system is no longer used, I mention it here to show the power of this language. On this course, you will learn how to create desktop and mobile applications in Java. Even without taking its use in creating mobile apps into account, Java is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. The Java and Android developer course will set you up not only for mobile development positions, but general Java software positions as well. On this course, you will learn how to develop iOS apps using Swift and Objective-C. This is also the course where you learn Xamarin, the software used to create cross-platform apps. The iOS development course also covers the basics of app design, how to publish apps to the App Store, testing your apps, an introduction to C-sharp, basic app security, and more. This bootcamp is the best fit for people interested in a career that focuses on mobile app development. Basically, if you're interested in working in companies that develop mobile apps, this is the bootcamp for you. There you have it, the Mobile Developer Bootcamp. It's a major undertaking, a serious commitment, and a considerable investment, but it's worth it. If you think this is the bootcamp for you, you can enroll today. Thank you for your time, and good luck.